Hey guys, Alex here for WolverineMarketing.net. Uh, this presentation I call Keyword Research Wolverine Ninja Style. What's up? A little bit about me. My name is Alex Gould. I've been doing I Am for about three years. This is me. This is my wife. This is my big ass dog, Joey Flacco, named after the Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl winning quarterback, Joe Flacco. We're big Ravens fans. Anyway, so during the three years, about the first two of them, I would rank a site, start making some money, and they get slapped. Rank a site, start making money, get slapped over and over again. Uh, it's not a good feeling. I learned about PBN link building, really the core of what SEO is these days. And within seven months, we built, uh, built up a network of affiliate sites that brought in over $37,000 in July. And these sites survived all the updates. And at this point, I'm not really worried about Google updates. They can do whatever they want. You know, I understand what they're looking for. I give them what they're looking for, and, and they rank the websites. Once you know how to rank, and most people do, if you understand how to build a PBN, you know how to rank. The difference is keyword research. The difference between people having success in affiliate marketing or online in general, when especially when they're just getting started, is the keyword research they do. If you do simple keyword research, you find the perfect, easily ranked searches, you're gonna get your site ranked quick, quickly, you're gonna get visitors, you're gonna start making money. If you do the wrong keyword research and you go after a competitive niche, especially when you're just starting, you're gonna be fighting with Google for months, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna get beat down, and you're gonna be out of the game. So I think this is really a huge difference maker when it comes to people having success or not, is the keyword research they're doing and really what, what, what words, what searches they're going after when they're first beginning. Normal keyword research, and I think this is part of the problem. People come into the internet marketing realm and they get taught keyword research by the keyword research gurus out there. And what they get taught to target is highly commercial search terms. And this is things like, you know, uh, product review, best product, uh, cheap product, you know, you know, cheap widget X, where can I, where can I buy this, uh, widget review, that type of stuff. Uh, they teach this stuff because these, these searches have what they call commercial intent. There's a very likely, very high chance the person making uh, doing this search has the intent to buy uh, the product when he finds his answer. So yes, they convert well, but the problem is everybody's going after all this stuff along with you. You also hear this uh, only target keywords that have a high cost per click. Most most uh, cost per click, uh, most the, the line that makes it worthwhile or not is about a dollar per click. You hear people preaching about this all day long. Every keyword research tool out there is going to have this filter of must be a dollar cost per click. You know, I think that's completely bogus. I've ranked sites that Google AdWords has told me is ten dollars per click, and I get it ranked, I get traffic, and I can't get over twenty cents a click to save my life. I've also had traffic or or sites that I rank that AdWords is telling me is fifteen cents a click, and I get dollar clicks all day long. So I think it's completely bogus. That's just a little bit of my experience. Take with that, you know, do with that what you will. The problem with learning keyword research like this is it's what everyone else is doing. So you're going after a competitive term or competitive terms that other people are already in, other SEOs are already going after. So you're, you're going to run into trouble. Um, my keyword research has two real parameters. One, it's got to be easily ranked. Well, one, really, that's the only, the only parameter I go on, easily ranked. If it's easily ranked, I'm going to go for it, figure out how to monetize it later. Easily ranked to me is less than one million natural search results. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. And under 5,000 in title and in URL. Okay? So when I first was asked to do this, uh, a buddy of mine gave me a call and said, hey, you know, I see you're having a lot of success. It's awesome. Um, you must be very good at keyword research if you're able to do this, you know, so quickly, so well. Would you mind showing me what your process is? And so um, we randomly just went to the Google Keyword Tool and found an awesome keyword within five minutes. I want to show you, I want to replay how that happened for you guys. You can see a little bit about uh, about how I do my keyword research. So I do a lot of stuff in the health niche and I had recently just, you know, before I got on the phone with my buddy, I just seen a commercial for IBS. Either that or I had horrible diarrhea, you be the judge. So I threw IBS diet into the keyword research tool just to see what else is out there. And yeah, like every real marketer, my account is suspended, so you can just ignore that. So I threw IBS Diet into the Keyword Planner just to see what came back, just to see if it had anything at all. It would spring my curiosity. And it came back with 22,000 searches. So I said, okay, you know, maybe there is something here. Uh, let me just go ahead and throw this into ClickBank 
to see if there are any uh, offers out there, just to see what I get. It's just part of the process. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I do. I'm just kind of checking out what's going on in the IBS diet world, if anything at all. So I threw it into the marketplace. I don't do much with, with ClickBank. You know, I do a couple bucks here and there. It's nothing huge for me. Uh, but it's a good resource to see what's out there uh, in terms of products in, in, in the uh, marketplace. So right here, I see there's a product. The fact that there's somebody on ClickBank selling this product, it means that there is a buying marketplace out there somewhere. So that's a good sign. Um, I just randomly looked down to see what else was on the first page. And I came across this. Fibromyalgia, it, uh, it interested me. Never really heard of it, didn't know what it was. So I decided to click on it. And I just took this, copy and pasted it, threw it back into here. See what I got. Okay, fibromyalgia. You see this is a big search term. Great. What that tells me, that there, there's so much search volume for this particular keyword, it tells me that there must be a niche within this niche that I can go after. So I took this on over to Google, threw it on in here. I just wanted to see what I got. Okay. So first of all, there's 6 mil, 6.6 .6 million search results. This is the natural search results that I'm talking about. It's not under a million, so I would, I would not touch this keyword in, in a million years. But I wanted to see what else might, might pop up. What, I wanted to see what Google is giving me, really. These, these searches down here are, are uh, searches that Google provides to you based on the data uh, of what gets searched on their platform. They're not pulling out these things, you know, just pulling them out of their butt. They're, they're here for a reason. These are probably the eight most frequently searched for terms after someone types in fibromyalgia, whatever. The next the most uh, searched for term is probably symptoms. This one just, just brought, uh, just, you know, interested me again so I, I decided to check it out I threw that one in here and let's see what we get lo and behold we have a nice little search here 6600 searches that's a nice little keyword so again I was intrigued let's see what it gets what we get when we uh, search it in Google all right perfect first good sign 30 uh, 345,000 natural search results Great. There's, that means there's not very many websites that Google is naturally showing for the, this term here. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out why these people are showing up for this term in general. If they're going after it aggressively with SEO, or if they're just monster sites that Google is ranking because nothing else is worth ranking there at this point. So I enable a little SEO Quake plugin, go back to Google here, and I search. Let's take a look at what, what comes up. So fibromyalgia trigger point. The first result is a WebMD uh, with, uh, let's see how many links. We'll wait for that one to come up. The second one is FMNet News. Okay, there's 13 links to this domain in particular. Look, there's one link to this domain up here in WebMD. This is a huge health site with one article about fibromyalgia that Google's showing just because they're a huge site. There's one link going to this URL. There's 13 links going to this URL, 18 links there, zero links for the fourth result, zero links for the fifth result, two links for the sixth result, one link for the seventh result. Perfect. What this tells me, guys, is there's no SEO out there ranking these pages for these terms on purpose. They are ranked just because they're big health sites and they have one article with this in the title. Awesome. So my next uh, factor here is the in title and in URL searches. Let's take a look at that. Awesome. So there's 6,600 searches a month. There is 12, 2,300 uh, websites with this in the title. And if you're, if you're, if you know uh, about these these results they give you, this is just an estimate number. To find the real number, you just click back in here and see how many websites actually have fibromyalgia trigger points in the title. And if you know anything about SEO, you know that you got to have this keyword somewhere in the title. Now, it could be fibromyalgia, uh, trigger points that hurt at night, just something that's, you know, not so optimized for fibromyalgia trigger points. It'll still show up as being uh, in this, this, this result number. Hope that makes sense.
Okay, so here we are. We la reached the last page for this search term. There's 234 websites. 234 websites that you've got to beat to rank number one for fibromyalgia trigger points. It's unbelievable. It, it, it's almost, it's a, it's a, it's a give me search. It's, it's asking to be ranked. There's nobody up here on purpose ranking for this. And let's take a look at what else you're going to pick up when you, when you get this search term. So if you rank for fibromyalgia, you're going to get, you're going to get this search term here, um, you're that traffic rather. You're going to get this, this traffic, this traffic, this traffic. All these these uh, uh, so these sub niches, you're going to rank for your site. Now look, now these are big websites. How do I outrank it? WebMD? How do I outrank MetaCenter.net or whatever it is? Listen, guys, these websites are ranking just off the power of their domain. They have one general health article about people looking for help for fibromyalgia and their trigger points. One general health article. It helps no one. What if you had a website with ten articles about fibromyalgia? Symptoms, trigger points, uh, cures, how to help, uh, how to lessen, you know, lessen the the, 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 the the problems. You would become the authority in the fibromyalgia niche in Google's eyes because you don't just have one general health article like these guys. You got 15. You got a whole website all about fibromyalgia. You make a Facebook page all about fibromyalgia, Twitter handle about fibromyalgia. You're going to be the authority. You're going to rank these these type of searches with no competition and a nice search volume will rank you know within 30 days if you don't know what you're doing if you really know what you're doing you do it much faster than that um, even with the Google delay so these are the type of searches I go after searches that I'm guaranteed to rank for easily okay um, I'm gonna do a lot more over-the-shoulder uh, keyword research for you guys in the next coming videos I just want to show you how within a uh, you know eight minutes of my buddy and I found this awesome keyword where these people not they have an issue they're looking for a solution how do you monetize it? You hook them up with doctors. You hook them up with a book that, that can help them. You give them a supplement that eases their pain. Something that provides a service to these people, or on the back end you get you get a commission. Um, it's a beautiful thing. People search for fibromyalgia instead of a, a fibromyalgia trigger points. Instead of finding a WebMD general article, they hit your site, which is full and plentiful of knowledge and resources, and you can you connect people. Maybe you put a forum on it, you know? It's endless. You put up some ads, you put up uh, some products, you connect people with doctors. There's a million different ways to monetize it. Anyway, um, the video is about less than 15 minutes long. We found an awesome search. I'm not going after the search. Feel free to go after it. We'll do some more over the shoulder, over the shoulder training in the next video.